Hello all, Terhi here again. Another layout with Alta new products, which I'm really excited about. And this time I chose to use a cover die from Alta new. It's called Shutter Cover Die. I will add the link to this video text and then you can see what is it like. But I really like the look of kind of iceberg thing going on on the layout, even though the theme is not anything kind of ice. It was spring day in Paris. But anyway, I like really much about the design. As you can see, I have uh, cut three of these covers and I'm just cutting them up. Yeah, first I cut it with big shot and now I'm using my scissors. It might sound kind of funny, but I don't want to have both straight, li uh, straight lines for this page, so that's why I'm I'm cutting them like this random way. Um, I will use those leftovers too, so that's why you can see them here. I want to kind of continue to design with the leftovers um, because they are really repeating the same pattern as is here. So it will be cool design, cool detail for this layout. Uh, the third one won't fit like completely there, but I will use part of it and part of it will be added later. Um, I had to do lots of playing to get them fit perfectly there. And I used uh, double-sided tape to adhere them to my background page. But if I would have been really wise, I would add a uh, double-sided tape before I cut it through the big shot, but I wasn't that smart. But next time I will be, and I'm happy to share you that tip that please use the double-sided tape before because those lines are so thin that there is definitely some double-sided tape left over too. So I'm adding these, um, it, it's not the negative shapes, but the fillings of the uh, cover die to add them here randomly. And at this point, I wasn't sure should I add it this way or this way and where should I add the photograph. But later on, I decided it's perfect there. And now I'm also cutting the last piece of the of the cover die and then adding it to the layout. Um, as you see, I added these um, extra pieces there too, but I took them away before adding more. I also want to, again, add some layers behind the photograph, um, especially now because the photograph is cute, it's circle shape, and I want to have something behind it. Uh, these papers are from Alta New Reflection Collection, all of these papers, and I really adore the, the collection and can't wait to have some more of those papers for me. Uh, I also got some of these gorgeous um, die cut designs in the same reflection collection. Uh, this was a rose, and I thought it would be cool there, but in the finished layout, you can see it because I took it away. I, th I thought it would be too much because I had had already this um, this airy element. The whole cover die element is so airy and light that I didn't want to ruin it. All these tripper stickers and um, well, all the embellishments are from the re Reflection collection from Aldenu. Um, all the stickers and everything. So I decided to use some more of the Doodle Plumes dies. This time I will not um, stamp them first. I just want to make a few extra embellishments and those leaves, leaf dies are perfect for that. Um, I'm really sorry about this video quality. It's kind of too light at this point because we had sun in Finland, so it's kind of happy accident. We like never have sun in here, but it was a 
beautiful summer day I was recording this video in front of my window and I had sun and I didn't remember to um, put my camera options to the way it would have been it would not have been this light um, anyway I'm making finishing touches for the page and this time I'm using Altenew mists this is a green one and then I'm going with the purple one. Oh, it was a different way. The lightning <laughs> kind of bothers me. Um, but anyway, I'm just splashing a few drops here and there to make sure that there is some, some fun look on the page. And at, as I wasn't happy with the way the um, die gathered leaves are looking, I decided to add some some hand drawing on top of them so that that way they are kind of popping up more and it's a really easy way to add your really own hand writing and hand drawing um, for any layout just draw with some black marker some some nice um, black details or white details or any details at least at something yeah, so that was it. This was really simple layout and I really hope you like it as much as I did. The photograph with the green details is really popping up against the blue background, blue and white background. So I really adore this. Thank you again for Altenew for having me guest designing for this summer and we'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Yeah, thanks for watching and bye!